<laughs> so what? Oh, that I've solved the puzzle. It won't let me in because it's a twat. Oh God, are you out of? This is not like ice crackens. Cave, cave. Okay, I'm going to go into caves. Style. Let's try the other cave. Good look there. Must be the one Gweno spoke of. Nice face. Gweno was a good friend to us. She spent weeks teaching me human language over time I slowly teaching others. Many days we have known death of good woman Gweno. Horribly killed by a man we call the trapper. Fuck. Spoke of one called the Avatar. She said one called the Avatar would come and return her to her mate. She also said Avatar would save Gwani from extinction. I'm Yanani, mate of Mayuri, mother of Naobi and Kapyundi, leader of Guani people and teller of Guani history. I've gradually been led by, by my wisdom and hunting skills of mate Mayuri. Together we are heart and soul Guani people. My daughter of severe fever, she died only thou can save her. God, no. Friend skills hunter. Many years ago, the Guani ruled these icy lands with the great horn of the Guani. It was a powerful tool of balance that could make the ice dance. But we lost the great horn of the Guani when it was stolen from us by a stranger who came in the night. He took to the, a horn to the place men call Skull Crusher. We have since found we Guani cannot, uh, do not need it to live in balance with the universe. May it go to whoever has the good fortune of finding it. Talk to Bayanda, healer of our people. She will know what to do. Well, I'm sure she will. Good old Bayanda. This must be Mrs. It is the one foretold by Gweno. Um, Mayori hunting master, my mate Yanni, chieftain of our people. I am father of Naobi and Kapyundi. Uh, I'm father. Alright, okay. So the wife is the leader, and he's the hunter. Gweno, a great friend to our people. Thanks to her that many of our people speak thy tongue. She even told us about that. So that will come her death tragedy. Where is Gweno? No, how did Gweno die? Gweno killed by the trapper's men. Trapper, cunning human, a hunter near, near extinction. We hunt us. He hunt us for our skins. He lives somewhere north. We do not know where. Gweno's body now at Guani Death Temple, a place sacred to us, where spirits of dead rest peacefully. Only leaders of tribe, Yanani and Bayanda go there, but Bayanda's mate, Bundai, may know where it is. 
My son, brave and strong hunter, one day take my place hunting master of grinding people. Give now a search cure for Niobe sickness. Niobe, now only daughter, she's very sick, strange sickness put her to sleep. Now she's not awake, she's not cured. Soon sleepy sickness will kill her. When it happened not long ago when Niobe was well, the one morning she not awake, that's all I know. Maybe I hear by and uh, know what sickness is, where it come from, how it cured, I worry it be rest with granny people, maybe nothing be done, maybe granny die. Not all things in world meant to have answers. Granny tried to live in balance with world, not force us on nature. Maybe our time is over. Maybe time here to face death of our people. All in the universe balance unless man or granny intervene. Our people have seen great strife, great challenges, face dragons, goblins, hunting humans. We survive all these things. Still part of great balance of things. Maybe we're not meant to survive. When granny no longer part of balance in the universe, time for us to leave world. This is way of things. Bit we are your bander. Know what to do. She made of Maori all of her life. She not only leader of Granny people, but keeper of stories, history of our people. Each proud Granny name. It means blizzard in our tongue. Goodbye. Okay, so these are the. She cannot wake up at her. She's very sick. Well, I know that. So the other ones actually just sleeping, or are they? suffering sleeping sickness <laughs> I look like Avatar the Guani creature says with broken speech Maureno means rain clouds. A village near speak to Yanani. Bye. Attack attack. Thou art Avatar. I am Bayanda, mate of Moero, here of the Guani people. You great hunter, Maureno and Bayanda joined by Yanani many years ago. She had chieftain, Gwani people always led by females, Yanani good friend of Gweno. Gweno dead, she good woman, very generous. She wants to make gift of bucket to Bayanda. Bayanda placed body at sacred temple. Near Gwani death temple. A bucket? If not think for thou to know, Gweno must rest now, her soul rest, leave her. I know it painful, but thou must do this. Even if thou found her, thou could not unseal her body without sacred horn of Gwani. Long ago it taken by fiend who steals her dead from us. Maori master hunter of Guani, you know where game are and have find, but Mueno best at catching game. Very proud of him. Treat all wounds and illnesses, Guani people. Band and not use ways of human healers. Guani live simple balance with nature, not force on nature. Guani healers learn secrets of herbs and animals that need healer. I will help thou. I need a healer. I will. Who thou want to heal? I'll have to pray for a start. Magic cross balance with nature. Guani healers learn things like prepare dried fish and use ice dragon blood. Dried fish very good food. It keeps their hunger longer than other food. Would they like some? Yes. Ice dragon blood. Special things about blood of ice dragon that can cure almost any sickness. But ice dragons very rare creatures. Guani honor all life. Try everything before we hunt them. One did live north of our village. We drove a different one east many years ago. Ice dragon blood may only think powerful enough to cure Naobi. But it's so rare it's very hard to find. Five of our hunters went looking for it. Gwena said that help people in need. That must find some ice dragon blood for Naobi. It's the last hope. Take a bucket of mine. If thou find a slay ice dragon, please bring a bucket of blood. Take it to Yenna. You know what to do with it. Good luck. Naobi's life depend on it. Naobi ill from strange sickness. Spend it never seen it before. Nothing better tried. Help her ice dragon blood. Anything can save her. Years ago, Gwena attacked by a dragon. Miori and Moreno left on to fight it. Granny drove it east beyond the mountains. Very old dragon, still unmated, very rare. Don't know where, we had nothing in many years. Found some nature. So Guani, best way to live. Only way is to live in harmony with nature. So we're not doing anything that force nature. Bye. So, I need to go get a bucket of ice dragon blood. Well, I thought we were off again then.
Thou, the one Gweno spoke. I can tell the creature obviously has great trouble with your language. Wundai, my name is. Our village near, but thou seek Gweno. Pause thoughtfully before I speak to you again. Guani Death Temple on Island North, west of Ice Dragon Cave. Bye. What's up, Gweno? My heart is broken. My life has no meaning without my lady love. But I was like, no, how could a good and noble quest have ended in such tragedy? Sing the song then. I'm sorry, thou's heard all my songs. Oh, fucking piss off then. What you say? get up there there's nothing to the east so it must be like way east really fucking death penguins Kill the penguin. I want a penguin cloak. Screw guani cloaks and fucking wolf cloaks. I want a penguin cloak. Hello. Beware claws of ice dragon. I'm um, Gilroy Eye, means of the wind. Tried to kill Ice Dragon to bring its blood and cure Naomi, but we failed. It hit with claws I smashed into Cave Wall. Need Bander to heal. Find Ice Dragon there, what not? Take Ice Raft to cross channel. Beware front opening. Well, you should always beware the front opening. Vicious Beast. It's Ice Dragon and his mother protecting its babies. Kill Ice Dragon. Hang on, you're supposed to be like peaceful, aren't you? Peaceful. Get it killed. Clearly, no one's lived in here for a while. <sighs> right. So can't actually get through here. What the hell was that? Did that wall just appear? Yes. Oh, they look like footprints. I'm trying to work out. Oh god, there's like an invisible polar bear coming for me. Yeah, what's all that about? figure out how it triggered that's really strange what's also really strange is the fact that I'm nearly dead and I never even noticed oh god could you imagine if I died here And it bloody went, yeah, you're resurrected back in monitor. Be well happy. I think that's the guy I just spoke to. That was the ice raft, I think. Fucking penguins everywhere. 
Jesus. Now, I'm much further up than I thought I could go. Probably go and do this dragon first before going this way. But I'm not going to listen to my own advice. That'd be ridiculous. Let's trap a cave, I think. Ah, this took me back where I was. I think so. Right. Ice raft. Ice raft. Where is it? I saw it before. There it is. Right, you, you stay there, Yolo. It's fine. Ooh. Another volcanic island up here. Hey, you're already here, are you? Okay. Oh, this sounds so cute. Very crunchy, strange to Oh, you've eaten the uh Oh I think this might be where the dragon is. He's just eating the dried fish. Yeah, it's very tired of the magic polar bears and your shit. Warriors of Fortune Quarterly, the Adventurer's Guidebook. Ah, oh, hang on. Few men who are stern of heart and gifted in the ways of weapons of steel, fortunes more mighty than thou can dream of lie in your near future. All you must do is read the secrets held within these pages. And you will be on the way to riches. Enter into mysterious mysteries that have baffled men throughout the ages. With rewards greater than those of today's kingdoms. Come adventure. And gold are on your horizon. This issue offers the Sternheight adventure a chance to be the first to a miser's treasure. With more gold than ten ships can carry. Read on. And the history of the location of one of the world's richest lost lairs. Could that be the first to find it? Many hundred years ago, there was a miser named Tripaco, who had accumulated a massive fortune by swindling the local natives and by hiring pirates to attack his competitors' ships and cargo. One night, after a vivid dream about losing his vast wealth, Tripaco consulted a great wizard, the sage forewarned that the miser was about to lose all of his wealth in the near future and that nothing he could do would prevent this. Thinking they could avoid the prophecy, the mice took all of his gold to a cave in the northern icy reaches of safe storage. I had the wizard to create a series of tunnels in the rear of the cave that no one could find their way without a magical map. When all was finished, the wizard conjured an ice dragon to guard the mouth of the cave that led to the riches. On the voyage back to the palace, the miser, fearing that the wizard would allow his secret to be known, killed the wizard by pushing him into the sea. 
Unfortunately for him, upon the wizard's death, the magical map disappeared in a puff of blue smoke. Fearing that the prophecy had come true, the miser returned to the cave and tried to find the route to his riches. True to the wizard's warning, the miser never did reach his riches, most said that he lies somewhere within the frozen caverns, where he never returned. To this day, no one has survived the tunnels and reached the lair of the ice dragon. Some have attempted to face the ice dragons at the mouth of their cave, but all have either fled or become permanent fixtures in the ice surrounding the cavern's mouth. Thou be brave, be sure and sure of their skills in battle, they must find the secret way into the lair of Tripaco and its riches untold. Well. Well, shit. Larry, which we don't need. Ah. The old ice dragon seem better it is, possibly. Oh, one of those giant skeletons. this way then. That did teleport me somewhere else. The tele trap. Rats and a nice troll. This is a different room though. Because there are different body parts. Ice blocks. Oh, yep. Where did you just come from? Are there ice golems or ice monsters? I can't remember. Heal, cold strike. Take the great heal. We don't really need cold strike, do we? Where's the magic helm? Magic gauntlets. I thought the gargoyles were going to come alive. Give us such a look. Okay. Okay, that did that weird teleport again. Go this way. So, hang on, this is different. Anytime someone other than me wants to try attacking, that'd be great. Oh, for fuck's sake.
get round him. And that one. Nice. We might end up with more people in the party because you could have loads last time, so just take some extras. Mm. 